This is a, a seven second workout. You don't have to do anything for more than seven seconds at a time. So how hard could that be? You only have to do a seven second workout. That's what we're gonna, we're gonna do. So simple stuff. We're just gonna get warmed up right off the bat, just with big forward shoulder circles, just loose. So we're gonna get on this timer. So listen to this timer on this warm up. When it goes, you're gonna get a warning when it starts. We're gonna start on the bell. Not this, not this, that, the double B. That, when the bell rings, we're gonna switch from exercise A to exercise B, which is backwards. So here, see how you have that double? See that one? That means switch to exercise A. And guys, while you're warming up, just a reminder, like with any workout program, you should be consulting your doctor before you begin these online workouts. If you feel any faintness, dizziness, shortness of breath, or pain, you should stop immediately. All of these videos are for educational purposes only and should not replace the advice of your physician. I will post the entire disclaimer in the chat. That sounds like one of those infomercials, like the commercial for like prescription drugs. And like, this will help you with your sore pinky. But side effects may include, yeah, press and tire rate of All right, let's go to quad stretches now. So you're gonna quad stretch, right leg only. Bell range switch to left leg. Get used to the countdown of the bell, not that. That, the long one. It's the double beep and the long one because you're gonna have to hear it over my voice. Because you're gonna be switching. I'll be telling you when to switch also. It's gonna be switching between exercise A and exercise B. Seven second intervals. Go to knee hug on the right side. I'll purposely just be quiet while we're doing these sets so you can get a feel for how that timer's working. So you just automatically switch when you hear those bells. So listen for that one, the double beat, and then the second exercise B is the long one. Right there, one more time on each side. Last one. Do the stretch, get a knee up to the chest. We're gonna go right into a hamstring stretch, down course, so hips back, one leg straight, and back to the back to the front. And just switch right to that side. Come up, come up, come up. Okay. Up straight up, right back down to the other side. So one leg is straight, back leg is bent. Reach it forward. Without rounding your back. Just keep switching about. Get used to that trigger, to that bell. So you'll know the track sign. It's only two exercises per round, nothing for you to think about, except just react to that bell. If you don't hear the bell because I'm talking or for whatever reason, I'll still call it out. You can also see on the camera other people are switching. So you should all always be on the exact same exercise. Get one more time to the side of the hamstrings. Just get stretched out the legs. We've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work to get to. We've got about two and a half hours of work we're going to get in this next hour and a half. Done. Let's get a shoulder stretch. Quick shoulder stretch. We're going to stretch it open and hold for seven seconds. That will range. Fling it open and then stretch to the side. Hold it there. Still move your feet while you're holding it. Just get that blood flowing. Boom. Fling it open. Stretch to the other side. Your upper, your lower, your shoulders, your calves, your hamstrings. All you need warmed up and stretched out, ready to roll. We're not holding it long. We're doing these active stretches to get your body ready to move, ready to work. At the end of the workout is when you do longer static stretching and start to struggle. But right now, we're just getting ready to work, so we want to be moving, active stretching. Fling it and catch it. One more time each side. Fling that chest open, and last time, we're doing the second side. Good, so th this bell's gonna keep rolling in between, in between talking, so don't worry about it. It's just gonna be continuous heartbeat going. So right now, all we're gonna do, just to get the legs warmed up a little more, is you're gonna start off one side, wherever you are, whatever space you have, you're just gonna shuffle back and forth. Bell rings, you're gonna go legs only jacks. Bell rings, you go back to a shuffle. Right here, let's start shuffle. All should be on shuffle right here. All should be on shuffle. Let's all get on the same page, all shuffle. Right into jacks, wherever you are, leg only jacks. Listen to that bell. Right back to the shuffle. There we go. So we're all on the same thing. You should all be on shuffle. 
light on your feet, on the walls of your feet, ankles, knees, and hips, all slightly back. Leg stands. Yes. Just keep switching on that bell. It's an immediate switch. Switch right away, right on the fly. You all should be on jacks. Legs only. Bounce on your step. Shuffle it across. Light on your feet. Zip across the floor. Right back to jacks. It's an immediate flow. There's no break in between those. It's only seven seconds. Like literally when that bell end finishes ringing, you've already used the first second. So you need an immediate switch on those two exercises. Right to it, right to those jacks in place. Just get those feet, calves warmed up. Back to that shuffle. You hit one more of each right here. Last one on those jacks. Light on your feet, bounce on your step. Okay. Time, you're gonna get the upper body warmed up. All you're gonna do, real simple, is hold the push up position. You're gonna go shoulder taps. With your feet apart, we want a wide stance on this. Can you get fucked up? When the bell rings, go to the knee tucks. Nice and slow knee tucks. That's it. So on one, the upper body's moving. The other one, lower body's moving. Back to shoulder tuck. Shoulder tap. Feet apart on this. We want them apart. Just because we're warming up. Knee tucks. You're just switching between shoulder taps, knee tucks on each bell. Tap the shoulders, right to knee tuck, just slow and controlled. Just get warmed up, just get the chest, shoulders, triceps all warmed up. Your body temperatures, you're already beginning up a little bit. Already starting to get blood flowing. Already starting to warm up. Make sure you're all on the same page. Just be on knee tuck. Right back to that shoulder tap. Your hands should be lined up directly under your shoulders. Nice, straight, strong, stiff line. There it is. Keep switching on that bell. Listen to that bell. One more beat. One more beat. Keep that position. Straight and strong. Solid. Last one on the knee tuck. Right up, right up. Dig in those abs. Just get warmed up. Time. Hop up on your feet. Just give me a thumbs up if that bell is loud enough for everyone. Is the bell loud enough? Like you can hear it over my voice even when I'm talking? Perfect. All right, so we're gonna keep warming up. We're just gonna do a walking squat thrust alternating with just a march on our feet. So a walking squat thrust, squat down, step back, step back, in, in, and up. Once the bell rings, just a march. So let's all start a walking squat thrust on this bell. Right there, walking squat thrust. Little tempo to it. Make sure all stand. Which leg goes first? Right away. Right to a march. Just march in your place. Get those abs warmed up. Hips, hamstrings, glutes. Right back to that walking squat thrust. All stand. Which leg goes first? Try to get about two walking squat thrusts in that seven seconds. March those feet out. March them. Thighs up, parallel to the floor. Back to that walking squat thrust. Stand up straight each time. Right to that march. So these are just flowing. One move flows right to the next. Get those knees up there. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Right back down. Step back, step back, step in, step in. Stand up. Paul Sanders' leg goes first. Keep rolling. Just getting the blood flowing. We're going to progressively pick up the pace on these sets. Kind of transitioning from the warm up to the work. Let's keep rolling. Let's get one more beach. One more beach after this knee tuck. Practice this march. So let's get one more walking squat thrust. One each side at least. Right to that march. Finish it off. Just getting rolling. We're starting to transition to some of the work now. All right, the next one. All it's going to be, this one's simple, is just continue getting your upper body warmed up a little more. You're going to hold a low plank. When the bell rings, you just come up to a high plank. That's it. On the floor. So it's all starting low plank. Right here, low plank. When the bell, you'll come up to high plank. All you do is hold it. Right there, there's our bell. We're up high and hold. This one, you're going to put your feet together. Lower down, control. Hold. Locked in place. 
Here's our bell back up high, abs are tight. Body straight and strong, sit to the board. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Straight, strong. Michael, don't dip those hips down. Get that back straight and strong. I still have to see you on the floor. You all need to learn how to get your cameras angled so that we can see your entire body, even if you're laying flat on the floor. We need to be able to see you. So we can help you, coach you, correct you. There we go, right back, right back up. Hold it. Just getting that whole upper body warmed up here, the core warmed up. The entire body rolling. There's our bell. We're back down low. Right back up high. A couple more reach. A couple more reach. We're just getting rolling. Bam. Back down. Back down. One more low. One more high. And come up high. And hold. Time. Hop up on your feet. So for the most part, these rounds are going to alternate between an upper body dominated by a lower body dominated. They're all going to be total body, but at least giving your arms and shoulders a break from down those push-up positions and all that. So the next one is just going to be speed squats, or as much of a speed squat as you can, because it's only seven seconds. So you want to control as long as you're not bouncing on your knees. The bell ratio is going to go to speed front kicks in place. We're not worried about thinking about boxing when we're switching our stance and kicking with the back leg. We're just going to keep our feet squared up, and just pump those kicks out. Bend and extend. Whip them out. We want speed squats and speed front kicks. Coming up on the next bell, we're all going to be on squats. Coming up. Right there. Just speed squats and pump them out. Abs tight. Sit on the heels. And count how many reps you get into that seven seconds. And then try to match or beat it the next seven. Front kicks. Right back to those speed squats. We're starting to pick up the pace, get the legs warmed up a little more. There we go. Right to those front kicks, right away. Bam, bend the knee, bend and extend, flick it. Nice, right back to that squat. Sit back on the hips and heels, abs are strong. Head is up, chest is out. Right to it, right to it, keep switching on that bell. Even though we're going fast in these spots, we're still in complete control. Your glutes are tight, your quads are tight, your core is tight, your back is straight. Right to those front kicks. Speed front kicks. Pop, pop, pop. Keep those hands up. Right back to that squat. We're pumping it out. Getting those legs nice and warmed up. Blood flowing. Right to those front kicks. Boom, boom, boom. Kick a whole new wall. Boom, someone in the ass. Right back to that squat. Pump those reps out. Kick, kick, kick. Bam, right back to it. Back on the hips and heels. Out strong. A few more each, a few more each. We're getting into more working rounds, so we're gonna start making these a little bit longer of a round. There it is, right back to that squat. You see that head up, chest out, out strong. Bend the knee and extend. Kick it. Boom, right here. Bend and extend. Quick speed kicks. Get that leg up there. Right back down. Low. Ass to the grass. Speed full squat. Full speed. Pop. Pop. There we go. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it. Use those abs to bring that knee up. And extend. Boom. Push off that stationary leg. Right back to that squat. It's a non-stop switch all day, just like this. There it is, you got a few more of each still, a few more of each. Get that knee up, boom, boom. Bend and extend. Right back down to it. We're on squat. And kick, we should all be on the same page. You can hit one more of each after this one. One more of each right here, one more squat. Pump those, pump those, abs tight. And kick, last set, last set. Pump, bend and extend, boom. Time. All right, next one is gonna be just a push-up walk. Now you know your limitations, you know if you need to modify it. You can't do a push-up walk, you'll just, you'll just hold the position. But you're gonna push up, walk, in the push-up position, walk side to side. The bell rings, you're gonna do the actual push-ups. So you need to these elevated somewhere, somewhere off camera, you have a different spot, do what you have to do. Push as low as you can, push as only seven seconds at a time. 
We're gonna start with the push up walk. Right here, we're going, we're push up walking. We're push up walking on the floor. There's our bell, we're going to push up. Push ups for seven seconds. Yes, right to it, right back to the wall. Walking across. There's a the bell, we need push ups. Get as many as you can in seven seconds. Walking across. In your spot. Axe tight. Back is totally straight and push on that bell. Push up. Yes. I'm already getting warmed up. Just to demonstrate these, so so should you. Make sure you push yourself. It's time to strip. Pump that, pump that. Keep that body totally straight on those. Do what you gotta do. Add strong when you're doing that push-up walk. It's like a moving plank. Yes, right to it. Hit the floor. Leave it the chest. Don't let the chips sink down. Your chest bleeds away on those push-ups, not your stomach, not your hips. Let's do it. Push-ups. Push-ups way down. I'm coming out the way up. Walking across the floor. Opposite arm moves with opposite leg. Don't worry about rushing. It's not a race. Back to those push-ups. That'll be a challenge. It'll be a struggle at this point. Back to the walk. Keep fighting it. Keep fighting it. We're going to come more beats. Last one here on the push-up for now. For now. Time. You're going to hop up on your feet. So we're gonna go back to those for a shorter set in a second, but we're gonna give the arms a break. You're gonna do jumping jacks with rotation and power squats with rotation. So exercise A, jack, I'll turn, jack, together, apart, together. Our power squat is pop, pop, drop to the side. Pop, pop, drop to the side. Always come into the middle of the pop. Turn 90 degrees for the drop. Let's go jacks. Jack to the side, middle, side, left. Middle, right. Let's go power squat. Pop, pop, drop. Back to those jacks. Back to the jacks. Power squat. Pop, pop in the middle. Drop left. Pop, pop middle. Drop right. Keep going right back to the jacks. Non-stop changes. If you have to modify, just step those jacks out. If you have to modify the, the squat, just pop and drop into a squat. Just step into a squat if you have to. Always a way to do it. Back to the jack. Left, together, left, together, bam. Pop, pop, drop left. Middle, pop, pop, drop right. Pop, pop, drop left. Jacks, jack, middle. Right, middle. You can get a lot of those jacks in seven seconds. You push the pace. Right back to those power squats. Rotating. Jacks. Right, middle, left, middle, right, middle, left, middle, right, middle. There we go. Right back to the power jacks. Power jacks, you get three or four in seven seconds. Power squats. These jacks, you should get seven of them in seven seconds. One per second is the pace you're looking for. One per second. Keep rolling. This is giving your arms a break before we go back to that push-up walk. Yes, keep rolling. Back to the jack. Jack right middle. Jack left middle. Jack right middle. Jack left middle. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Drop right. Pop, pop, drop leg. Pop, pop, drop right. Back to the jacks. Middle, jack right, middle, jack left, middle, jack right, middle. Find the rhythm. Back to those power squats. We're going to roll last time in the power squat. Time. We're going right back to that push up walk with the push ups. You know what it is. On the next bell, push up walk. There it is. Push up walk. To the side, same one we did. Here's our bell with the push ups. Oh, 
Push up, walk. Rolling. Push up. Keep rolling. Keep stretching. There it is. Back to the walk. Back to the walk. Keep the hips down. Head up. Back straight. Out strong. You're working your chest, your shoulders, your thighs. Back to that walk. Come more beats. Come more beats. Give me a shorter set than the first one. And last one right here. Last one on the push ups. Time on your feet. All we're going to do is jacks for this set. So it's going to be just jacks to your left. So it's going to be jack left, middle, left, middle, left, middle. The bell rings, you're going to go jack right. Let's do it. Jack left only. Middle, jack left, middle, jack left, middle. Now, jack right, middle, jack right, middle. You have to step it out and step it out, modify. There's a bell back to the left. Your whole body's turning, not just your hips. Your whole body turns 90 degrees. Then jump right back, I gotta do a work thing. Do what you gotta do, modify. A couple more each side. Your whole body is slicing 90 degrees to the side. Now the other side, middle, side, middle, side, middle, side. One more beat, one more beat. Your whole body's turning, not just your hips. Last one to the other side. With the modified, just step those out. Time, same thing for the power squats now. Pop, pop, drop left, pop, pop, drop left. Pop, pop, drop left. Let's go. Let's start. Now drop right. You're just going to switch which direction you drop to on each one. Back to left. Pop, pop in the middle, drop left. Pop, pop middle, drop left. Switch sides. You're just switching sides each bell. That's it. Get low on that drop. Bounce, bounce, turn and drop. Bounce, bounce, turn and drop. There we go, get low. Back to those hips and heels, couple more each side. Turn that corner if you can. Pop, pop, drop right, pop, pop, drop right, pop, pop, drop right. So the same one on the same set. Now switch to the other direction. Some of you are alternating too much. Switch only on the bell. Work through it. One more each side. One more each side. This is it. Pop, pop, drop left. And other side. Pop, pop, drop right. Pop, pop, drop right. Pop, pop. Time. Shake it out. Those legs should be starting to get on fire. All right, next. We're going to go with just single leg squat thrust. Only on the right leg. Then we're gonna go to single leg squat thrust only on the left leg when the bell rings. So it's a couple different ways. You're not starting yet. Use this time to stretch the legs out and shake it out. So you can squat down with both legs. You can see me in this long camera and jump back just on your right leg and you can jump forward with both legs. If you want a challenge, stand just on your right leg, squat down on the right, jump back on the right, jump in on the right. But at any of those three portions of the movement, when you're squatting down, when you're jumping back, when you're jumping in, anywhere you feel you need to use two legs, just use two legs. Whatever portions of it, you can use only the right leg, use only the right leg. Let's do it, right leg is up. On this belt coming up. There's right leg, right leg, single leg, squat thrust. Stand up straight. Switch to left leg. All be on the left leg right now. Oh yeah, those legs are gonna be on fire. You can stay on the single leg the entire time. Do it. Don't ever let the other foot touch the floor for that seven seconds if you can. But go to two legs as often as you need to. It's fine. 
and switch. Keep switching that bell, switching legs on that bell. Control it, modify it, you have to go two legs whenever you need to. If you need to walk it down the squat thrust, walk it out. Do what you gotta do. I'm stripping sweat here, you should be also working it, moving it, pushing the pace. Couple more each side, we're rolling. Last one each, one more each, right here. You can squat down both and just jump back at once, you jump back in with both. Last one on the second side. Time. So we're going to alternate that. We will be getting back to that after our single leg crawl out. Same thing with the crawl out. You're going to be on one leg, squatting down on the right leg, crawl out, crawl back in, come up, switch to the left leg on the belt. You may only get one or two in. It's fine. Do what you got to do. Let's go right leg on the belt. There it is. Right leg crawl out. Obviously, if you need to use both legs, use both legs. Do what you have to do. Get that body totally straight. If you need to touch that second leg down at any point of the crawl, just touch it out to help you along the way. Switch legs. Just use that leg that's in the air as a guidance at the crux. Tap the floor as needed with that second leg. There it is, quick switch. Those legs should be on fire. It's only seven seconds though. Let's roll, let's roll. Keep pumping it, keep pumping it. Bend that leg down, pull all the way out, push up position. Crawl back in, stand up straight, and then switch leg. You may only get one in per seven seconds. Totally fine. Those quads, that glute should be on fire. You need to keep moving, keep pushing the pace. It's only seven seconds. There's the bell, quick switch. One more, one more right here. Last step right here. On this side. Time. All right, we're going to do one more set of each of those. The squat thrust and the crawl out coming up. Not yet. Give your legs, shake those legs out for a second. You're going back to that single leg squat thrust. It's a lot on the single leg. That's why it's only seven seconds. On the next belt after this one, next belt, we're going to right leg on the squat thrust. Right leg, single leg squat thrust. There it is. Down, out, in, up. Down, out, in, up. Go for two or three. Over to the left leg. Down, out, in, up. Try to get one of them, two of them, three of them. Whatever you can get, your own pace. Just make sure you're not leaning over the waist too much. Try to bend that knee to get down there. Modify if you need to. Use that second leg as much as you need to at any portion. If you have to, just do a walking squat thrust. Modify before you stop. Die before you freaking quit. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Do every seven seconds like it's your last freaking seven seconds on earth. That's how you need to attack every seven seconds in this workout. Like it's the last set of the day, all out, every bit of range you have. Then deal with the next one when it comes up. Right to it, right to it. We're rolling. Yes, one more each, one more each today. That's it. Got to get two or three in each seven seconds. Switch to the other side, last one. Time, shake it out for a couple of bells, and you're gonna go right back to single leg crawl outs. Two more bells, you're going right back to crawl outs. We're gonna all start with the right leg. One more bell, we're going to the next bell. Right leg, single leg crawl outs. Abs are strong. Let's roll. Walk those hands out fast. Stand up. Out fast. Stand up. There's our bell. Left leg. You go fast, you can get two of them in. You're moving fast. Back to the right. Right leg. Roll out. Make sure you're going out to a full push up position. Extend those hips. Walk those hands out strong. Chest, shoulders, triceps. All working. Keep switching on that bell. Listen for that bell. Just switching legs. That's all you're doing. Nothing to think about. Just switching legs, waiting for the signal. Hold the line. There it is. This is the last set of these. All outs are done. 
Keep rolling. A few more times each. A few more times each side. Right here, we're going two more each side, each side. Two more each leg, right here. Two more each leg. Switch, other leg. Pull all the way out. Pull the push up to this. Pull all the way back in. Stand up. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Other side. We're almost there. Push the pace. Last one each. One more each leg. One more each leg for fun. Just for fun. Back in the game. Push yourself. Last one on the second leg. Right here. Last seven seconds. Time. Shake those legs out. So we're going to give you a, get a break from your arms and your legs. We're going to be on our back for the next set in a second. Just stretch those legs. Shake those shoulders out. But keep moving. I need to see movement. If I don't see movement, we're starting the next set. As long as you're moving, I'm convinced you don't need to start the next set yet. Although the next one's going to be a recovery set on your back because those last two are pretty hard back to back. We did two sets of each, and that's flop, rush, and crawl out. That's pretty rough. So the next one's going to be a pretty easy one just to get the glutes and the core to get a break from your arms and really break from your legs. Just on your back. And it's just going to be hip raises on your heels. When the bell rings, keep the up position and alternate knee tucks. On the next bell, we're going to start hip raises. Next bell, we're going to start hip raises. We all get on the same page. Hip raise right here. Hip raise. Hip raise. Everyone on hip raise. You want everyone on the same thing. Hip raise. Now knee tuck. Knee tuck. Get those hips up while you're doing the knee tuck. Back to the hip raise. You're not resting your ass on the floor on those knee tucks. Right back to it, right back to the hip raise. Some of you on knee tuck, some of you on hip raise. Now hip raise, hip raise. Drive those heels to the ground, hips in the air, squeeze the glutes. Hold tight and hold the top. Knee raise, dig in those abs. Strong glutes, hold the line. Back to the hip raise, tap your butt. Push it up, high as you can get. Your hands off the floor. Don't put your hands on the floor. You don't need to raise your hands. It's easy enough as it is. You don't need to put your hands on the floor. Back to the hip raise. Pinch those butt cheeks together like you're squeezing a quarter in there. I don't know why you'd be squeezing a quarter in your butt cheeks, but that's just you thinking. Right back to it. A couple more beats. This is your recovery round, so you should just enjoy this. Because we get right back to the work after this. Still got a lot to get to. Drive those hips up. Drive, drive, squeeze. Couple more each, couple more each. Enjoy. Yes. You'll be right back on your feet with some leg stuff. So this is your break. Giving those shoulders a little extra break before we get back into more, more shoulder stuff later. One more beach right here. One more beach. See some of you on hip raise, some of you on knee tucks. We're all last one right here, whatever you're on. Last one. Because we're all on different shit. Time. All right, we're going to be on your feet. Pay attention to this for a second. We're going to do six rotation of six different times. It's all lunges, but. You're just gonna go reverse lunges for the first set. Just follow me. Let's go on this next bell. Right leg steps back. Reverse lunge on this next bell. Right leg just steps back. Reverse lunge. Now left leg steps back. Right leg steps forward. Forward lunge. Left leg step forward. Right leg forward, split squat. Straight up and down. Stay in place, stationary. Left leg, left leg forward, split squat. Go. Ignore the bell. You're not going to have a bell in this one. Switch legs on the bell. Switch legs. 
So now we're going, sorry, reverse lunge, reverse lunge right. The bell, the clock just had to reset there. Let's all start on the next bell. One more round, reverse lunge, right leg. On the next bell, right here. Right there, right leg, reverse lunge. The clock just had to reset. We hit 99 rounds twice already. Left leg, reverse lunge. Get it back there, get low. Right leg forward lunge. Left leg forward lunge. And you know, if you can't go forward lunge, just modify it, go reverse again. And right leg forward foot squat. Try those legs. Left leg forward foot squat. Straight up and down, hold your ground. One more time through, right leg back, reverse lunge. Left leg back, reverse lunge, just fixing the camera. We got knocked off over here. Yes, right leg forward lunge. Left leg stepping forward lunge. Last round of these. Right leg forward, split squat. Holding those legs, grind them. Left leg forward, split squat. Time, shake those legs out. We're gonna give them a break, we're gonna go back to the upper. So just like you did, those push-up walks, the push-ups before. All we're gonna do is go back to our push-up walks, but when the bell rings, you're gonna go speed shoulder taps. So you're gonna go as fast as you can to push-up walk, bell rings, speed shoulder taps. I want speed on the shoulder taps. Count your shoulder taps. We're down from the walk on the bell. There it is, we're walking. Walking across the floor, the same as you did earlier in the warm-up. Now speed shoulder taps, count. How many can you get in 10 seconds? How many? Push the pace. And right back to that push up walk. Hips are down, back is straight, abs are strong. Keep rolling, keep pushing. Shoulder taps up on speed. Just flick those hands up, slap the shit out of your shoulders. Hips down. Walk across the floor. Body straight and strong. You need to be solid. Solid, stiff line. Yes, right to those taps. Flick it, flick, 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 fast speed. Right back to that walk. Right back to the walk, abs strong. Listen for that bell. There it is, we're tapping, flick and flick, 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 flick. Back to that push up, walk across the floor. Whatever space you have, shoulder taps, flick it out, and bam, bam, bam. One more reach, one more reach. Last one on the taps. This is it. Let them push it. Time. Shake out those arms. Shake out those shoulders. Let them recover. Be back on your feet. So the next two are just going to be squat jumps and fake jump rolls. So you'll be up here. We squat jumps from first seven, bell rings, and you're up here. This is your recovery. That jump rope is your recovery. But it better be fast. It better be lighting your feet. On the next bell, we're going squat jumps. Seven seconds. That's it. Seven freaking seconds. Roll. Squat jumps. Jump. Jump. Get up. You can't do a jump. Don't do the jump. All right. So, go. 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 fast. Hop. 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 Just flow. It's a transition, a smooth transition on that seven second bell. Right back to that squat jump. Get air, get your squat jump from partial squat knee raise. Partial squat knee raise if you can't do a jump. There you go, correct? Just like that. Just slow down the down part a little bit. Don't bounce down on the squat. The regular squat jump, if you're not coming together, it's not a power squat. You know, part the whole squat jump, Tracy. You do the part of the down, that squat jump. Should all be on jump rope. 
Swap them, get low, get low, get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. the whole time. There you go, Tracy. When I jump rope, you know, when I jump rope, I don't know why some of you are off on different stuff. We're half on one and half on the other. Squat jump, squat jump, squat jump. We're all on a squat jump. There you go. Back to that bounce. Back to that bounce. Keep it rolling, sir. Keep it rolling. That's that squat jump. Man, do what you can. Modify it. There you go. Don't do a jump too bad. Michael, get a little bit of a lower in those squats. Watch that jump, speed, speed, speed. Squat jump, squat jump, and air, air. Sit back with the hips and heels, abs are strong. Back to that jump rope. Light in your feet. Pop, 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 pop. Time. Nice round. We're going back onto our arms. All we're doing, we did the warm up. Remember, we did a low plank hold. And then we do a plank walk up to a high plank hold. Very similar, except it's going to be low plank jacks. On the bell, you get up high for high plank jacks. Not this bell. Not this bell. The next one coming up for low plank jacks. Get it warm. Put our feet apart together. Low plank jack. Bell rings up high for high plank jacks. And low, low plank jack. Pump it, bounce it. To modify, just step out to the side. High plank, just step out to the side to modify. If you need help getting up and down, just use your knees to get up and down. If you need help, you need to modify it. I'll be on low right here. Back up high. I see happy on high, happy on low. I'm guessing we're on high here. Down low, get down to your forearms safely but quickly. Bounce those feet apart together. Back up top, back up high. Get up, get up. Back low, get low. You need to modify, just step one foot out at a time. Modify before you stop, always. Let your knees help you get up and down if you have to. You can to crawl up. You're better off crawling up, kneeling up, rather than just stopping and looking around. Work through it, modify it, it's fine. Ah. There's nothing wrong with dropping the knee, but keep moving. I have to modify this shit all the time. Don't think for a second that I can do this up full speed and straight through. I can't, it's impossible. Do what you have to do. It's all mental. Physical part's the easy part. It's just grinding through it, working through it, figuring out a way. F-I-O, figure it out, work through it. One more of each, right here, this is it. Up top, up top, last side plank right jack. Jump them apart. Ah, that's take it out. If that wasn't brutal, you did something wrong. That should have been brutal. We're gonna go back to that squat jump and jump rope. Just to give your arms a good break, but to keep the pace up, to keep things moving. So back to that squat jump and the jump rope. Next bell, we're going squat jump. Since we're all standing still, it tells me ready to roll. If you were walking around and shaking, moving, stretching, I would give you an active recovery. But you're all standing here with your hands and your hips. That means it's time to take the roll. Jump roll, jump roll. Hop, hop, fast, bounce on the ball of your feet. Squat jump. Get some air down on the hips and the heels, the glutes, the quads, the abs are strong. Head is up, chest is out. Bounce it out, bounce it out. Back to that squat jump. Sometimes I might be babbling, you might not hear the bell, but we'll catch you on the next one. Right back to that jump. Look, it's a smooth transition. You don't stop in between. Once that bell rings, the next one starts already, the next seven seconds. Right back to that squat jump. You were complaining about being on the arm. I'm giving you a break. This is a gift. I'm giving you a gift for these squat jumps and jump rope. Jump, bounce. Jump rope, this is a gift to you. This round is a gift to you. To give you off breaks, you thanking me for these squat jumps. Thanking me for this jump rope. Yes, back to it. Two more beats. Two more beats. Seven seconds each. That's all you need to do. Seven freaking seconds. Right here. Half you on different things. You're all on different stuff. 
Get together. We're on jump rope here. We're going jump rope. Jump rope. Jump rope. Squat jump. One more of each. We're all pace each other. Jump. Squat jump. And last one of jump rope. Jump it. Bounce it. Hop it. Bounce it. Time. We're going to give the upper and lower break. We're going to hit a round on our back coming up before we go back to another upper. So we're going to be on our back. It's going to be flutter kicks. Don't go yet. It's going to be flutter kicks. Whatever pace and speed you want. When the bell rings, you're going to touch both feet to the floor, and you're going to reach outside the opposite knee and touch it with your hand. So you're rolling, and look, my whole shoulder's coming off the floor. Try to touch the outside of your calf even, the side of your calf, as far as you can. Let's start flutter kicks on this next set. You need to see it, just watch me on the long street. Flutter kicks. Pump those legs. Hit your lower back to the floor. Knees up, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, reach across. Come up and lift and turn. Outside the knee. Back to flutters. Pin that lower back to the floor, tension on your abs. Bend down, reach. Reach, touch the outside of your knee, outside of your calf. Keep moving, back to flutter kick. Keep that lower back safe. Now I'm giving your upper and lower a break. This is like a double gift for you. Keep rolling. Reach outside that knee with an open palm. Kind of slide to the outside of your calf, back to flutters. Those legs are kicking. Lower back is pinned to the floor. Back to those twists, the reach. Side, crunch and twist. Back to flutter kick. Let's go. A couple more of each. Two or three more of each still. These are easy ones. Reach. Reach across to that opposite side knee or shin outside of your calf. Flutter kick. Flutter kick. One more of each. Come on. Pump those. Pump them. Bend the knees. Twist and reach. Twist and reach. One more of each. One more of each for fun. Because we need a break for the arms and legs, so I'm going to give it to you. Butter kick. Last one. Reach. 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 Twist. Time. Come on up on your feet. We're going to be back down for that plank walk, except now it's going to be low plank supermans for seven seconds, high plank supermans. Don't go yet. But you better be moving. I better see you moving and actively recovering while you're watching me demonstrate these next two. If I see you sitting still, we're just going to cut the break and go back to those squat jumps. So you should be low plank. Superman. All to your sides. Bell rings to come up high. High plank Superman. I don't care how long you hold them, it's only seven seconds. So go up the middle more for speed reps on these since it's only seven seconds. We're going to all start low plank. On this next bell, low plank, Superman. All tank, opposite arm with opposite leg. Here comes the bell. There it is, low plank, Superman. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and keep switching. There's the bell. Come up high, up high, high plank, Superman. Keep working, keep moving. Pushing it. There it is. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Grinding it out. Pump, pump, pump. Back up high, you're up high. Yes. Down low. Low plank, Superman. Off the inside. Up high. Right arm with left leg. Left arm with right leg. Keep working. Get back down low. Get low. Abs are tight. Think of this as a total body exercise, an upper, a lower, an out, a core, a glute, everything. A mind, a brain, a coordination, a balance. Working everything on this one little movement. Focus, intensity, laser beam focus. Keep that core tight. Picture in your head, you're stiff in the board, you're made of freaking steel. You're unbreakable, you're bulletproof. That's how tight you need to hold these. That's the mentality you need to attack these sets with. A more each. We're up high. One more beach. Get low for one more beach. This is it. Seven seconds of beach. You got this. Keep rolling. 
Come up high, last one high. Last one high, this is it. Time. Up on your feet, shake it out. Keep moving. So this next one, we're gonna alternate a lower crunch with a sit up and reach. So you're on your back. So you're sitting just a lower crunch, just your knees curl to your chest. See the angle of my knee does not change. You're bent 90 degrees, my toes are pointing in the air the entire time. The angle, so I'm not doing this and extending out. It's completely fixed. The bell rings. I'm gonna fully sit up and just reach in the air. Then fully sit up and reach out. Fully sit up, reach straight up. Fully sit up, reach out. We're gonna be on the lower crunch first. That's the legs moving, lower crunch first. Go, here it is, lower crunch. Go to the chest. Angle of the knee does not change. Tension on your abs. Time, sit up, reach up, all the way down. Sit up, reach forward. Sit up, reach up, back to lower crunch. Transition, smooth transition between the two. Sit up, reach forward, whatever one you left off on. Sit up, reach up. Back to that lower crunch, run lower crunch now, curling your knees to your chest. Keep curling your knees to your chest, lower crunch. Now the sit up and reach is all get on the same page. I don't like it when we're not on the same thing. Makes me think of weird shit to do. Right back to that lower crunch. Hang your lower back to the floor. Curl the knees to your chest. Dig them into your chest. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Tight, tight, tight. I see happy on one, happy on the other. We gotta get it together. Sit up and reach right here. Sit up and reach. Sit up, reach up. Sit up, reach forward. Sit up, reach up. Sit up, reach forward. Keep it moving. Keep it rolling. Lower crunch. Rub the knees to the chest. Hand that lower back to the floor to support your core. Keep constant tension on your abs. Both of these exercises, constant tension on your core. Last one each. One more each. One more each. Last one, last one. Sit up and reach. Crunch it. Control for time. All right, up on your feet. Last set of the day. This is it. Last one of the day coming up. I need this one to be so fast. The faster you go, the less seven second rounds you're going to do. All it is, it's simple. It's just high knees, bell rings, mount climbers, bell rings, high knees. But this needs to be like, Supersonic transitions. If it's half ass in it, because if you take your time and go down, by the time you get down, it's time to get back up. I need it to be like ridiculous, like bouncing around like a super freak. That's what I need to see on these. And of course, modify means modify. We know that. So do what you can. If you have to, just speed marks. Then find something to hold on and do knee tucks holding onto a wall or on a couch, whatever. But make it fast. We're going high knees on the next bell. Last you go, the less you have to do. This is the last round right here. You can kill it. Go, high knees, full speed, bumping, running, sprinting. Ha! Bell right down. Pump double crown climbers. Fast. Right back up. Hopping. Full speed. I need to see a sprint. If I'm not convinced you're going. Maximum effort. We're going to do very. Very many of these. Right to those next one, switch, high knees. You two with the red couch, you better pick up the pace, you're moving too slow. There's our bell, why are we not down? Get down there, get down there, keep moving, fast pace back on your feet. Tyson, you're moving too slow. Switch right away. We're on the floor, mouth climbing, pay attention. Right back on your feet, quicker. These transitions are taking too long. It's getting me upset. These transitions are making me upset. Keep rolling. You will not like to see me when I get angry. Just keep pushing it. Fast, come on, pump. Watch transition. Bell right down, pump, 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 pump. Full speed, every bit of juice you got left. Right back up. And run every bit of energy, every bit of juice, 
every bit of fuel. Put into these seven seconds. Now, roll. Right to it, right to it, right back up. Two more beats and we're done. If we go all out, everyone better be busting their ass. Down. Up, one more beat. This is it. Break it, burn it, push it. Down, hit it, finish it. Last seven seconds of the day. Attack. Time. Come up. I'm gonna turn the timer off. Hi, right, give you guys a round of applause. Here, we're gonna stretch this out. What I need you to do is lay on your back, lie on your back. Both knees are bent. <laughs> Pay attention, step by step. This is gonna be an awesome stretch. You gotta do this stretch so many times a day. Cross your right leg over your left. Take both hands. Put your right hand in between your legs. Both hands. Grab your left leg. Pull it back. So I'll start over from the beginning. Both knees bent. Right leg crosses over left. Both hands pull your left leg back. Now let go with your right hand. Up in the air. And underhook it on your right shin. To pull your right shin. At the same time, you can take your right elbow and push it to the inside of your right thigh. Get out of here. So you're underhooking your shin and pushing with your elbow. So you're here. So you pull it. It's going to pull and push at the same time to open up that right glute and right hip. Hold that there for about 30 seconds. Long as you hold it, you're going to have to ease out of that stretch. So you should be pulling the left leg back with the left hand. <laughs> right shin is getting pulled back with the right hand. And pushing the inside of the right thigh with the right elbow. Stretching at 360 degrees. Now slowly ease out of that stretch. There's a lot of tension on that hip. Straighten both legs out, completely straight. Use both arms overhead. Long stretch for each. Big deep breath. Bend both knees. Feet flat forward, cross the left over right. Take both hands, left hand in between your legs, pull your right leg back. Now let go of your left hand, you can see the camera there, and pull your left shin towards you while you take your left elbow and push on the inside of your left thigh. So you're pulling with your left hand and pushing the weight in your thigh with your left elbow, while your right hand is still pulling your right leg back. A lot to it, but this is an awesome glute and hip stretch after all this work we just did. So totally open it up, start helping you recover right back. Hold it for another 15 seconds. Some of you are just twisted up in a press. I don't know what the hell you're doing. And slowly, ease out of that. Come up on your feet. You can come up to the camera, unmute yourself if you want, whatever. Stretch out that shoulder, bring it straight across. If you haven't already, submit what equipment you need. We're starting to get it rolling out, the equipment loaner program this week. There's only gonna be two specific times to pick up. If you're unable to make, pick up at those two specific times, you may have to wait a week or two or whenever we're able to get that done again because we obviously can't be out there all the time. We have to keep our people safe. So it's going to be just two specific times this week coming up of when you can pick up the equipment. Make sure you already submitted your form, you sign it, fill it out, and send it back so you can come at one of those times. Check on that. Yes, thumbs up. You can unmute yourself if you want to jump in or have any questions. Also, don't forget that if you ever miss these workouts, you can obviously check them on the VIP page, but you can also go to the Peak Portal which literally has every single workout that we've ever done in order, describing them, what they are, what equipment you need, whether it's boot camp, boxing, strength, cardio, what equipment you need, how long it is. It has the, the gallery view. It has the speaker view, all in chronological order from every single session we've done since we started the online. There's already over 50 or 60. Plus, there's dozens of other at-home workouts. If you ever need an addition to workout, you missed it, go through there. It's like a Netflix of home workouts. In addition to that, Every single day, I'm adding more nutritional videos, more motivational videos, mindset videos. Tons of content is getting flooded in there literally seven days a week. There's more and more getting added to that. So always check that out if you need something to do. Turn off those dumbass Netflix movies and go watch them. It's actually going to help you and help you move forward towards your goals and keep yourself in a positive mindset. Check on the portal. Yes? Thumbs up? Yes. Don't forget to check in for charity. We are still donating. 
The more you check in, the more we donate. We need to make this, this is a critical time right now for us to even be able to donate as much as we sh we're struggling. But obviously, like all the small businesses, we will still make sure we are always donating to these charities because that's a lot more important than any other struggle that we're dealing with. Have it a thousand times worse, so we understand that. So keep checking in for charity. On that note, please, please share the 21 day for $21 to your friends, your family members, your coworkers. The good thing about it, they don't have to be local. They could be anywhere in the freaking world. There's people who signed up for it from North Carolina. There's someone from Tripoli, which is, I think, in Lebanon or something. Lebanon, yeah. He, <laughs> he comes in He comes in at, like, midnight trying to do the live classes. And, and when you join the Zoom call, it automatically records. We enter the room. So we see him from Tripoli at, like, midnight just looking at his camera. That's cool. Please share this at any time. Video yourselves. So we are all rocking. Kids and class cool. tomorrow. Kids class tomorrow, right? Yes. Free kids class tomorrow, Wednesday at 3 p.m. And it's yes. live. Follow on I will be there. In the world, totally free. For, it's made for kids only. They can come in, join. Of course, you can do it too. It's going to be geared towards kids. But nothing says you can't also do it for extra workout. It's going to be 45 <laughs> minutes, 3 p.m. tomorrow. Someone say something? Well, let's dance it back there. Shit, I got a good I like you and be creeks. Don't forget at 8 30 every Wednesday we're doing a Zoom meeting at 8 30 p.m. So it can be discussed anything, nutrition, workout having time can be discussed in that room. So we're going to start at 8.30. Start on time. If you have any questions, go on the Zoom. It's the same link as we have for the workouts. But every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m., we can meet and discuss a lot of things. So it's probably 15 minutes, maximum half an hour, so we can give you that one-on-one -on -one attention. Okay? Uh, we love you. Before we sign off, I want everyone to get their flex on. Let's see your flex for a picture. Oh, no, I'm wearing that sandwich. No! Yeah! Please! Please! Where did Coleco? go? Is she dancing off screen? Where the hell is she? <laughs> Please! Oh, <laughs> 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 
take a picture and she runs away. Belly, that belly. That belly. <laughs> All right, we are all done. If you need, some of you are still squeezing. Some of you are just stuck there forever. I thought your screen was frozen. Dana's like, yeah, I like the way that looks. I'm just going to stay there. <laughs> I can't tell if you took the picture. <laughs> all right, we are all done. We are set. If you need anything, just comment. Send a message on the VIP page. Send a private message on Facebook. Call, text, email. Send out a smoke signal. We'll send something to come and help you out. If you need anything, let me know. If not, I will talk to you later. You are freaking Thanks, awesome. Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Have an awesome day. I'll be emailing you, telling everybody about the equipment later today. You need oh, no, Bye, Robin. Robin. Thank you. Bye, Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye, Michael. Bye, Eva. Bye, Diane. Bye. Bye, Bye Tyson. Bye. Tyson. Angelique. <laughs> Angelique. You got